This next qualification match now underway on the sweep for red is Matt, on the sweep for blue is Elfman. That's a full hopper of power cells on both sides of the field. Their alliance partners also moving in with some picking up for themselves. Very similar autonomous strategies on both sides of the field, but a little bit more of a capitalization for the red alliance. They score two additional power cells. That's at least an additional four points. And they were able to score more of their power cells in the inner port. Those are worth six during the autonomous period. Looking at both sides of the field, we do have lots of simple score cycling happening at the moment. It is very efficient and very good at raising these scores quickly, but a major collision in that shield generator area between red and blue is going to throw some robots on their side and also slow down the cycle. It looks like blue is going to be affected a little bit more than red. So Matt L is moving in against Matt for the red alliance, trying to slow down one of these scoring powerhouses for that red alliance. All three red robots lined up on the initiation line. Matt for blue still slowing them down. That's resulting in a tie score between red and blue. All three blue robots down near their own sector. Two of them picking up power cells off the playing field floor. And Matt, once again, for the Blue Alliance, playing some strong defense. They're sticking tight to LOL in red bumpers. But the other two remaining robo robots on the red alliance, that's Josh and Matt, they're unimpeded at the moment, able to score more for the red alliance. That is resulting in a slight lead, but plenty of strategy unfolding for the Blue Alliance. We see two robots kind of hung up on one another, but a quick re spawn does change that all six robots now free to move about the playing field 15 seconds until end game just 10 points separating these two alliance scores both of them just over 15 power cells away from the threshold for an additional ranking point Endgame now has begun, still just as we've seen in our previous matches. The focus is on these power cells. Until these alliances hit 90 power cells, they're going to prioritize that ranking point over the ranking point on the shield generator. The shield generator ranking point takes only a few seconds to accomplish as long as all three robots get into position at the correct time. The blue alliance has now broken 90 power cells and so has red, but blue has had much more time to get on that shield generator switch. Red is trying to seal it up with a few seconds remaining and it looks like as time expires, they will score 25 points apiece for being on that shield generator switch. Final results do indicate a Red Alliance victory by just four points. They also do break the threshold for power cells and endgame points. So that is four points going home with your Red Alliance. Across the aisle in blue, they scored 370, but 91 power cells and 75 endgame points. So that is two ranking points for the Blue Alliance. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.